Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. A new DLC has dropped. It is called Call to Arms. It is all about melee stuff. And since the mods that I was usually running are broken now because it's a major update, we're gonna dive into this. We're gonna give you the first impression of the Call to Arms DLC. And I would say we're gonna start a fresh career so we can we can see what's going on here. So that's the plan for today. Uh, we're gonna start, obviously, with the Call to Arms start. We're gonna get a Phoenix Hawk, a Vindicator, a Jenner, Spider, Blackjack, Javelin, Commando, and the Locust. That's a lot of mechs already. We're starting in the year 3025 in Northern Space of Kurita Space. Alrighty. Uh, we will start a new career. I don't want to import any data. Let's go. So this is the in 2108, generic intro, so we're gonna just colonizing the give that, we, we know that already guys, we are here for the DLC, we are here for the melee stuff, for the new mechs, and for all of the goodies that PGI gave us. By the way, uh, it's a rather small DLC, we get new melee stuff, we get a little bit of a story based uh, campaign snippet, uh, we get a bunch of new variants, we get a new mech, which is the Hatchet Man, and a bit of quality of life stuff. Uh, all of quality of life stuff is uh, just a generic patch thing everybody will get it however it is cheaper than the other dlcs uh, i think i only spend like 12 bucks or so for this dlc so let's see if it's actually worth it and we're gonna start with looking at our transmissions and um, when you take a look at this here you can see the transmission transmissions even coming from different dlcs and we're gonna start with this here the Lurin rebels so this is the storyline that we're going to follow today Greetings, Commander. You may call us the independent people of Sky. We represent a number of units under the employ of House Steiner, currently assigned to the front line against House Curator. In 3023, House Steiner shocked the entire inner sphere with the creation of the first new mech design in generations, the Hatchet Man. The Archon said, this new mech would help bolster our country's mech regiments with the new line mech. Um, but in reality, the mech has mostly been distributed to the forces loyal to the Archon and those warmongering pigs in the Federated Suns, doing nothing for those of us in the Isle of Sky as our home defenses are slowly whittled down every day by raiders from the Draconic Combine. We have learned that the Archon and Defiance Industries have delivered an entire company of new Hatchetman mechs to the 19th Arcturian Guards. A formerly prestigious unit before they incurred major losses at the hands of House Curator decades ago. While this may sound like a legitimate reason to refit the unit with new mechs, I assure you it is not. In the decades since their collapse, the 19th has become a dumping ground for the spoiled sons and daughters of the Commonwealth's wealthiest families entering the LCAF. Riding high on the co- uh, coattails of the 19th storied past to further elevate their own social status while turning the unit itself, itself into their own state-sponsored frat house. As the first brand new mech designed in over a century, the Hatchet Man has become a hot commodity that the Archon is willing to throw uh, these petulant brats in order to appease their wealthy industrialist parents rather than supporting those of us on the front lines who are in desperate need of new equipment to fight our actual enemies. What a sentence! Holy crap! I wish we had a better way of doing this, but we are left with no more options. We want your unit to disable as many of these hatchet men as possible so that we may take possession of them. We can't overtly move against our own countrymen, but we are in desperate need of those mechs to defend ourselves from current aggression. So, we are seeking your aid in capturing and acquiring these hatchet men and putting them in the hands of the people that truly need them. Will you help us? Yes, I will. I'll also take this one. I mean, this is not really uh, a mission that we care about, but uh, let's take a look at this uh, equipment here in the store. Yeah, you can already see there is an assault battle axe. It deals 80 damage. That is a lot of damage. I mean, we don't have any Assault Max yet, but compare that to, let's say, an AC-10. That's 10 damage. This is 80. It rips enemies in, like, no time. We also got Knuckles. By the way, it's also a 7-ton item. And it has a maximum range of 20 meters. You gotta get close with those. Uh, Knuckles. Cool. Knuckles give us uh, 30 damage. Pretty solid still for only 2 tons investment. I like it. Also, they have shorter range. Uh, we got Hammer Fists. 
<laughs> Who knows that meme? Alrighty. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's a two-ton item, uh, 20 damage for a heavy mech. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and has a hard point size, by the way. We gotta keep track of that. Right. We got light hammer fists. Will we use them? 10 damage for two tons? Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Let's go. Let's buy that hammer fist. But we also got medium knuckles. 20 damage for one ton. I'm also gonna buy them. I mean, we are here to get some melee out, right? So, our starting mechs are those. And you know what? This guy has hands. And this guy has some equipment that we technically don't need. So let's go ahead and refit that. Go into weapons. Drop the machine guns. They're garbage. We don't need them. And if you want to go close, we better armor up, right? Especially on the arms. So max the armor. Get those knuckles in there. And we're already over tonnage. Great. Yeah. Beautiful. Ah. Uh, we don't need jump jets where we are going. I think we are fine here. And instead, you know what? I will take another, another heatsink so we can keep the mix somewhat cold with the large laser and the medium lasers. Maybe we just run mediums here. Maybe we just run mediums. I mean, this large is fine-ish. Yeah, that's gonna be our Phoenix Arc. I think this is fine. We are slightly under tarnished, but that's okay. Um, let's get those knuckles in here. 20 damage, man. That's a lot. We also got a Vindicator. Uh, I'm doing some very, very slight refits here. Small laser can go. Um, jump jets can go. I'm just doing that because... Uh, uh, I mean... Don't we have a light hammer fist? Can it not go in here? No, because it's a medium mech with a small hard point. That's it. And this is a light mech item. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some light refits here because I want my mechs in perfect position. This is already pretty good. I mean, we dropped the jumps. We don't need to upgrade the armor. I want to get a medium laser in here. There we go. And then we got half a ton. Um, is there half a ton of ammo? Perfect. Okay, guys. Uh, we will get on the battlefield in a second, but I need to have some mechs that actually make sense. And this LRM5 can be fed by a single uh, half ton of ammo. Rest of the mech is going to be single heat sinks. Yeah, I like the PPC here. This mech is okay. Alrighty. Um, the other mechs that we will be running uh, is probably going to be a Jack of the Blacks. Get that out of here. Get the armor up. Get another half ton of AC2 ammo, and that's going to be the build. Half ton. There we go. Zip. Alright. Um, yeah, you know what? It's fine. This is our fire support, and I think I want the Javelin on the battlefield as well with the SRM-6s. This is such a beautiful build. One ton is enough for this. We drop the jump jets where we are going. We don't need that. And we cannot put the hammer fists on the mech. Ah. Uh, because these go on a lower arm, right? They don't go on a hand, and this guy has a hand. Any melee here? No? All right. So, um, as far as I remember, this mech needs armor, like a lot of it. Bam. And I'm gonna ground it in another single heatsink. There we go. Beautiful. So the only thing that our company now needs is... Um, paint, and there we go. Um, I honestly like the Deviant pattern. We can also go Hot Rod with everybody. Yeah, let's go. Let's, uh... Let's desaturate. Make it a little bit brighter, though. Like a dark gray. Um... Then this is pretty good already. Let's make it a darker red. Uh, or into magenta? I don't know. Like, where is red red? This? It looks so orange. Right. In that case, you know what? We make it completely weird. We're gonna make... I like blue flames, honestly. But you know what? We're gonna make green flames this time. And... Uh, and a brighter color to accent that. I like it. We're gonna apply that to all. And yeah, it's easier, easier than painting miniatures. Let's go ahead and seek trouble, guys. We want to obviously follow the mission that we've just picked because those are the special missions for this playthrough, for this uh, DLC. And I think we're gonna go to Benfield. Let's go. Everything will be repaired and rebuilt in the meantime. And I cannot wait to actually get on the battlefield. 
I want to punch things. And, and we are fighting against Hatchet Man, so that's going to be interesting. Okay. Here we go. Arrived at Banfield. Cool. So, close all of this. This is the campaign mission. Oh yeah, it looks a little bit different now. So the DLC again brought some quality of life. So they shifted around some of the UI. We can now see our reputation with the independence here. This is the opposing forces. We actually recognize with Hausteiner. Uh, that'll change soon. We have learned that the lands from the Arcturian Guards is often sent to garrison a number of small installations close to their primary base of operations. While we don't know the exact garrison rotation of the lands, we should be able to find them at one of the marked locations. Destroy each and every one of the main targets and we will swoop to salvage them. Here we go. And this is what the salvage looks now. So this is our negotiation points. We've got three of them. Uh, and now if we click that, left mouse, uh, we can add and right mouse, we can take it away again. I'm going with salvage because I want to. Alrighty. Let's confirm that. And this is going to be our alpha lands. The Vindicator, the Phoenix Hawk, obviously. And then I wanted the Javelin, and I also wanted the Blackjack. Oh, yes. And since we are over tarnished now, that's also a thing. We will get 3% less pay and one less reputation point. But honestly, this is fine. This is a nice mechanism to actually, you know, just push your limits a little bit if you need to. And honestly, I just fit these mechs to run. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, also, I need to swap those. This is gonna be the Jav, because it's missile-based, and this guy is really good with missiles. And this guy is really good with ballistics, so we're gonna take him. Indicator? Sure. And me on the Phoenix Hawk, the punchy guy? Let's go. So, back to vanilla. <laughs> I have been playing modded so much, I have no idea if I can still, you know, assess the situation on the battlefield correctly. You know, going in. Maybe overextending. Maybe not being aggressive enough, I don't know. But I'm excited. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. Okay. Be sure to approach each one with caution, Commander. Yeah, let's go. The hatchet man's signature hatchet is devastating up close. The hatchet man's signature hatchet is devastating up close. Yeah, I can imagine that. There, yeah, we got some lasers. We can shoot at long range with the large laser. And uh, we are relatively fast here. This is a 97 kph mech. So we can get into... into punching range quite easily. Got no jump jets anymore, but that's okay. I a starter, you say. Um, you know what? Let them let them come close. I don't need to brawl with them right now. We also have a blackjack as fire support. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Obviously, we are at the wrong place. Yes. Let's check out the other got some LRM support from the Vindicator. They are the PPC horribly missing, obviously. Because my pilots are not really great yet. But you know what? Now that we are at engagement range, I'm going to go for it. Here comes the knuckle. And stay here. Stay here. Baff! On the leg. On the center. And a shot to the core. And down he goes. Not bad. This is fun. It is critical already. That is alright. These tanks out of here. Ah, let's punch him. Half. <laughs> alright. There's another one. You know what? I'd rather destroy them with my lasers quickly. Alright. When the tank explodes, we actually take damage in close range. That's not great. Also, Manticore? Was that a PPC shot? I'm having fun here. All right, the early game. It's not like, super early, since we already got a Phoenix Arc and we, we have some fire support with us. And these scorpions. Here's a tank that I want to take out before we go. Scorpions can be really nasty if they are not taken care of. Missiles, not enough. But that is Rasa. No, it's J. Edgar. Up to the 
And a treasure. I'll take it. But first, we're gonna deal with the tank here. By the way, I believe the Sansa scramble comes from our own PPC. I think this is a stray shot from the Vindicator. What's your fire, buddy? So, treasure up. Got it. And let's keep going. Extra ballistics, you say? Mm, I think that was a restock thing where we just got a little bit of ammunition from it. That wasn't any salvage that we would have taken with us, right? Um, I think I also want to deal with the spider before we go. I don't want to have a spider in my back. Cool thing, by the way. Now you can actually outfit spiders in a reasonable way with melee items. This guy is so undergunned with only two medium lasers, but I think if you put some knuckles or even a hatchet or whatever in the mech, you might get some value out of a spider even. Ah, come on. Oh, we got a brawl. Let's punch him a bit. While we're closing in, we're gonna fire. And then we're gonna go melee. Sneaky bastard. Stay here. I also hear ballistics somewhere. I believe we have another tank in our bags. Maybe a scorpion. Ooh, wait a second. That is no scorpion. That is the hatchet man. AC tanks coming in. Yeah, that was it. We gotta make sure that... Ooh. We gotta make sure that we are not attacking them like, like in melee, right? Because they have hatchets. I have knuckles. Nice fall back. Uh-huh. Maybe? Oh, uh, look at these big axes. Oh, look at this shutdown right in front of a bunch of hatchet men. No! No! Wake up! Punch him! Yeah, we got him! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Ah, another one. And everything's exploding. I don't want to be in this brawl. Actually, I want to. Ah! Fight me, bro! I actually want to take up the hatchet, probably, right? So he cannot punch us. Alright, what's going on here? There's nowhere to go, really. Wait, this guy, we can punch him in the butt. Oh! I missed horribly. I'm pulling back. My Phoenix Hawk is about to fall. <laughs> Man, the thing is, these hatchet men also have actual weapons, not only the hatchet. Alright, I want you, buddy. Getting hot. Half. Got him. My Santa torso doesn't look great. Ah, another one. It's an assassin. Nope. No, I shouldn't shut down right now. I thought I had enough heat management. <laughs> oh, righty then. Where's the ballistic coming from? Is that the hatchet man? <laughs> All right, so there goes our Phoenix Hawk. The cool thing is we can swap into another mech without a problem. So, uh, this is not uh, I lost a mission thing anymore. Also, sorry for the notifications in the background. Something is going on there. Yeah, so we didn't lose the mission when we lose the... That's the AC2s, by the way. Found them. Um, we don't lose the mission when we lose the commander. That's good. Oh. Um, yeah, I want to actually stay in here. These guys a bit more. I believe I actually hit the tree there. Good. Ibisu! To the face! Get down, Mr. Assassin, get down! I think assassins would also be pretty good in melee. Because uh, they are really mobile. Another hit in. Minimum range, it's a problem. I gotta get the velocity straight. Still alive. Insane. Missiles? There we go. Alrighty. So. Sorry for the notification thing. I'm gonna actually quickly quit that. Okay. Back in action! So we lost the Phoenix. I mean, we can uh, re-salvage and repair that thing. We technically only 
only lost our center torso, so the rest of the mech should still be intact. Let's keep going. Was it because I was running, I was kind of bumping into my enemy and took center torso uh, rumble damage? Or was it because of the hatchet man actively hitting me? I don't know. I don't know, but you can see, melee is fun, but you will also take damage putting yourself into the fray like that. There is no way around it. And when I think about assault max in the end, I'm not entirely sure if you actually get into melee before the enemies are shooting you to pieces. So is it viable to go melee only? I guess not. I don't know. You gotta upgrade your armor massively in order to get that done and live. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna check this out. So yeah, first mission done. One million sea bills. We will happily take the fire starter, but I cannot. Ah, salvage remaining. So this is the other way around now. They changed it. All right, I'll take an AC-5. Medium hatchet. Oh, uh, sure? They also have quality, by the way. That's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm not gonna take the LRM-10 and I will take another AC. I mean, these are tier zero, they are kind of garbage. Doesn't make a lot of sense taking them, right? Yeah, not really. Machine guns, tier one, single heat sinks. Ugh. It's not really what I want to see here. But okay, let's uh, pick something. Let's pick the AC-10, let's pick this, let's pick this and this and we continue our stride with the Phoenix Orc. Ooh. Um, mostly destroyed. View transmission. Good work, Commander. We are able to recover all four of the hatchet men that our lands destroyed. Our lands? My lands. That your lands destroyed. Yeah, right. Uh, but their battle damage is significant. In order to get them operational, we will need to collect a large supply of replacement parts. We've identified a series of locations where the Arcturian guards have stored replacement actuators, myomer bundles and weapon systems for the hatchet man. We'll need to conduct an objective raid to find and recover these supplies in order to repair the lands of hatchet man you've captured for us. We'll highlight the locations in which the supplies should be located, but it will be up to you and your lands to identify and recover any materials on site. All further tactical information has been forwarded over to Rihanna. Good hunting, Commander. Yes, thank you. Uh, how much time to actually rebuild that thing? That's a lot of time. 73 days. I'll take it. No big deal. So we are here on the same planet, right? Campaign? Yeah, that's the one. Um, I'm not gonna take all the salvage again, because early on I wanna just get stuff. And we'll play with the same... With the same crew. I think this time I'm gonna go for the Javelin because it's a fun mech to play. And we are again slightly over tarnage. That's okay. Yep, I'm gonna wait a time. I mean, I'm not in a rush here. Uh, ready up. I could have also taken another mech that is uh, lighter than the Phoenix Hawks. Something like the Jenner, maybe. Um, replace it. But it's also not in a good state. May help their salvage tight men. But they currently don't have the so, to this time, I, I, I also honestly like the Vindicator and the Blackjack. God, the Blackjack is so good. To and the but this here is Our a killer. Is Let's go. A Such a great skirmisher slash striker sword. mech. I love this thing. Alrighty. I can do that. Be careful, Commander. Although we took out a full lance of them, the Octuran Gorge reportedly still have two more lances worth of hatchetmen active in their roster. Two Be more sure lances of hatchetmen. With caution, as those mechs can do serious damage up close. Yeah, that's a manticore. Actually, let me quickly go to something that can kill the manticore. That is a miss. It's another tank. PPC needs to go. There we go, we got him. That was important. Um, the other tank is somehow up there. <laughs> it's also a Manticore. Ah, uh, come on guys, get him. 
How did you get up there? All right. It's like, which uh, which are level spawns here? Mm, and we triggered a patrol, so let's see. Huh? Where's the treasure? Yeah, in the city somewhere, right? Oh, all the way there? Okay, so I'm gonna send my people over here. Um, and maybe they can defend themselves against whatever is coming there. Exactly. So, and I'm gonna quickly take the acquisition, which is all the way back here. For some very weird reason. But I'll take it. Maybe we can get some goodies out of this. And here we are. Bam. Alright. Back into the fight. The more ballistics, the merrier. The more ballistics, the merrier. Attacking shared target. Come on, guys, you can take him. Easy kill, easy target. Right, down he goes. He has a lot of stuff coming. Yeah, they have some J. Edgars as well. Oh, wait! That wasn't the acquisition. This year was the acquisition that I found right now. I just ignored the first one. I want to run into my own friends. Deals damage. And I think, yeah, boys and girls can deal with whatever is here. All right. Is it just ammunition that we get here? Should have checked that beforehand. But hey, let's go. Let's destroy some hatchet man. Follow me, guys. It's a turret. Oh yes. Oh yes. Here they are. Um. Mmm, they also have a lot of tanks. I don't appreciate that too much. I think I'll take cover and deal with the tanks first. AC2s, yeah. If we don't take care of them, they will deal damage over time in quite a lot. Also, we are in the back of the hatchet man now, which is really nice. Get down before you can punch anybody. Hatchet is down. Nice. He's still dangerous. Down, Mr. Commando. There we go. Perfect. So, that's the first base. Small laser begun. Oh, man, and these AC2s. They're kind of nasty. Yeah, I love the javelin, by the way, in this setup. We don't need the jump jets necessarily. We need the cooling, though, in order to pump out those damage numbers. Those missiles are devastating up close. This is a small laser. This is an AC5 scorpion. Got him. So... We are searching this area now. Alright. This is a new objective type. Beautiful. Search, search, search. Ah, alright. And then we have to collect the salvage. Got it. Absolutely great. So, let's keep going. <laughs> These one liners from Rihanna. Oh, the more ballistics, the merrier. You can never have enough, enough. You can never have enough ammunition. This <laughs> is so good. <laughs> In a bad way. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Another base. Let's go. Stop shooting me. It hurts. Gonna stay on the little ones first. Yeah, There's another hatchet man, but again, turret and tanks. Whoa! Easy kill. Now the hatchet man. It's jumping, but we are blasting his center torso, and down he goes. These guys don't have real, really, um, a lot of armor. another tank. One down. Ooh, so many scorps here. And honestly, I don't appreciate their AC5 shooting. Come on, guys. Where's your snap shooting? There's an enemy right behind you. Hey, completely ignore it. Ah, oh, they found another target. 
Got it. So, tank down. Another one is there. I'm already sending in my people because I'm a bit faster than them. I can easily catch up. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna grab the acquisition. There we go. Got it. We ignore the turret. LRM carrier. Problem is, I'm down to like 58 shots. That's not a lot. Yeah, this mech is designed for shorter missions. Man, I should probably take another ton of ammo and put it in the mech. Got him. Got him. Got that guy. So, the flyer is falling out of the sky. Down to 30. Something. 22 missiles. Is there another hatchet man here? Hello? Uh, I'm here. Where are you? I'm just gonna go in here. I cannot really defend myself anymore. I got 16 missiles. That is one and a half alpha strikes. Come on, friends. Help me out, please. I need you in here. But I don't see any other hatchet men. Rather big base. Hmm, yeah, but the acquisition is right around the corner. Perfect. Yeah, I would say we just had exactly enough ammo for this mission. <laughs> Another ton would be really good. There we go. So that's it. Let's go home. Right. Oh, there is a dropship. And I, I need to swap max now. Let's go ahead and take. Oh, God. Uh, let's take the good old-fashioned Blackjack. It's a good mech. It is an absolutely okay mech. I wanna, I wanna have some cover here. Gonna make a breach. Ah, we don't need it. It's just a Locust and a tank. I was a bit worried that they will bring another one of those hatchet dudes. Show yourself. Okay. Got the Locust. Another light mech in our backs, which is a Spider K. Ah, stay here. Eat critical. But here comes the Spider again. And down he goes. So, we'll take the tank and, and then we're gonna go home. I want the pattern down because he might bring good equipment. Come on. We got him. We got that guy. And then that thing. Yeah, I think also our blackjack might need some extra cooling. Hmm. But anyway, we're gonna take our fastest mech that we have, and now we are just running the hell away. Because we need to get to that evac as fast as possible. And it's always the, the commanding player that triggers the evac. Oh, wait a second. We cannot make a breach here because we don't have any weapons anymore. We gotta find a way out. There's no way out! God damn it. Fine. I'll take the Hawk. Plus the medium laser. Ah, uh, that's how we get out of here. I was about to make a breach with the lasers, but hey. This is the big problem of the Phoenix Arc. All of the weapons are arm-mounted, and uh, you lose the arms quite easily, because they stick out like... Like, look at this. How much um, of this mech is arm? It's so crazy. You lose the weapon system so easily. This is why I don't like the Phoenix Arc in general. I'd rather have a Vindicator. I'd rather have a... I don't know. A Blackjack, actually. Blackjacks are good. Cool, let's go home. Made it. Another mission done. Question is, what are we getting now? Is this it? We are established. Gonna get money. Um, 
Ah, you can actually see where this variant of the Locust is coming from. This is a Kestrel Lancer Locust. Two SRM2s and a medium laser. Not a bad one. Not a bad one indeed. But this AC-10 is decent. I can take both. Light Knuckles. Tier 1. Yeah, I'll take this. Let's go. Yes, excellent work, Commander! Not only were you able to acquire surplus supplies in excess of what we initially estimated, but you've also eliminated more of the Arcturian Guard's hatchet men for us to salvage. With this surplus, my superiors have authorized me to provide you with our first refurbished hatchet man as a bonus for your exemplary performance. You'll need it for your next assignment. You got a hatchet man, everybody. And a hatchet. A tier 2 hatchet, actually. I will claim the crap out of this. So, um, I will accept this, and there is another part of this mission. Commander, the independent people of Sky have come to learn that Tobias Klein is stationed here on Banfield with the Arcturian Guards. Tobias is the eldest son of Emma Klein, who sits on the Defiance Industry Board of Directors. We believe that Tobias' current situation, no, station, may be the reason Defiance and the Archon have shown such clear favoritism towards the Arcturian Guards. We are tasking your lands with finding Tobias and his catapult, his catapult and destroying it. Even if Tobias survives the encounter, the destruction of his family's mechs should show his mother that the Arcturian Guards are undeserving of such preferential treatment. Oh my god, we have a hatchet man. And I instantly want to build that thing. So how do we do that? We'll take the jumps out. We armor up. End of story. Right? No. This is 42.5 damage. This is 40 damage. I'm gonna get the better hatchet on the mech. And we also have a medium hand actuator, so we can put knuckles on this arm as well, if we wanted to. Do we need two tons of ammo? 40 rounds of AC-10 ammo. I think in the early game, we don't need it necessarily. Because I want all the armor. Probably don't need all the head armor. Let's go down to 20. More leg armor is good. That's not even a question. Can we maybe get away with... Hmm. Maybe something like 38-ish? Like 30, want to get to a half ton here, you know? Ah, uh, so that I get another half ton of AC-10 ammo. That would be just enough. Single heat sink. Can I take a single heat sink out? Probably. Yeah. Absolutely. So we go up to 40 here. Actually, 42. And I will give it another AC-10 ammo bin. Two medium lasers, one AC-10, and of course, the hatchet. Let's go hatchet, man. Ooh, and of course we need to paint everybody, so go ahead, paint that, buy all, buy, back. Beautiful. Ah, oh, and I like this cockpit mounted, or like this cockpit height mounted auto cannon. It's a good one. You can use that to close in and then go nuts with the hatchet later. The problem the hatchet man has, by the way, is the rather slow speed of only 64.8 kph. It is not as mobile as our Phoenix Hawk, for example. But hey, let's repair everything. And I would say we still need to be here. Okay, okay. We sent a message to the board. We need to take Emma Klein's son Tobias off the board. Sure, we're gonna do that. This time we got four negotiation points and I will take probably damage coverage. Will we take damage worth of 400,000 C-bills? Nah, we're gonna take the money. It's only um, a bonus of 100,000 and 12, 112,000 C builds. Um, but I think it's still good. Let's confirm this. And of course, are we gonna run the bad boy? This is an assassination. I believe the javelin is good enough here. What is the worst mech that we have currently? It might be the Vindicator. Let's bring the hatchet, man. 165 out of 165. I think this is a good squad. Ready up. Yep, yeah, everything's repaired again. What happens, by the way? Wait, what happens if you go under tonnage? You don't get a bonus. All right, cool. Uh, blackjack. Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. We have a hatchet man. 
<laughs> Man, call to arms. <sighs> is, that, is it a wordplay on like call to arms? As in, we gonna we gonna do something with our arms here? You know, with the hatch? No. Uh huh. They want him and his family's catapult taken out as a way to send a message to Defiance's board of So this is a small map. Search for Tobias and his catapult at the Martin point. Then prepare for extraction once he's been eliminated. We are... <laughs> we can shield our cockpit with the headset, actually, if we do it like this. This is kind of nice. It's like, no, please, not in the face. <laughs> Alright, so small map. Um... This is a interesting sound. Ooh, come at me, come at me, little one. Ah, let's go. Again, AC10. This is kind of a serious thing. You know what? I want to cripple my enemies with my auto cannon, and then we're gonna go hatch at them. But it's not worth on a locust, I guess. 67 shots, by the way. Still 67. Some extra Catapult. Catapult, there it is. So, what we need to do is... Uh -huh. And this is a nice touch of the mission here. We need to close in on the catapult so that it cannot use its LRMs on us. That's it. Getting a significant uh, benefit here. Yeah, it's like a little tutorial mission. Underrun the alarms, and then you don't have any problems anymore. Get that cicada out beforehand. It's also another... Acquisition. On the leg. I want to use my hatchet on you. What? Okay. And again. Not bad at all. Headshot. Not quite. Try again. Yeah, I should stay in motion. Because we are a melee mech. What am I doing here? The javelin's getting kind of wrecked here. Also, do the mechs have now... Do they have a melee doctrine now? That's that catapult. Come on. This is mine. I'm gonna send my people here. I wanna... I just wanna brawl with him. I wanna duel him. What's here-ish? There he is. We need 180 meters. And we are safe from his lerms. Hey, buddy. Can I... Can I... I can. That was a big swipe from the top to the bottom and it swiped the center and the cockpit. You saw that? So it's not a single component uh, hit. We hit all the hitboxes. Like that. We've got our main guy. Good job. This is pretty cool. That bounty is ours. This is pretty cool, man. All right, let's get to Tim Bicky Dark. Also, wasn't there something like a acquisition, or did I take it already? I'm confused. Bring an assassin. Good hit there on the leg. Man, did I take my time to take it, or did I not? No, it's still here. All right. Ah, a little too high. On the leg, and he's almost pinned down. Okay, we take this with us. Then we go for another leg shot, probably with the laser, just a nice little sweep here. And he is not able to go anywhere anymore. You can shoot him out of the sky, literally. <laughs> okay, let's go. This AC-10 is devastating, and I think this is how you probably want to play this mech. Pin him down with the autocannon, and then the hatchet is coming down. I'm having fun with this. These melee weapons are way better than the ones that we had in the um, in the modded series. They pump out so much damage so quickly. <laughs> oh, how I want that cat. But this is the problem. Insufficient salvage shares. Even if you see it early on, you cannot take it because, you know, it's not possible. Because early on you have uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. We'll take the Locust anyway. The LRM. The medium laser tier 1. Single heat sinks? No. 
And I would say a jump jet because we can sell them. Alrighty. There is another part of it. But you know what? I would say we will play this part of this uh, little mini campaign the next time we see each other. I think that was a pretty good early overview of the Call to Arms DLC for Mech Warrior 5. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the Hatchet Man and all of the melee stuff that we did. Um, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel to actually continue the series. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.